How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today we have for you is one from Dragon Wings. It is the F4, F4 Wildcat here. And this one is a Black 9F1, as you can see right there, from VF9 while aboard the USS Ranger in 1942. Uh, this would be during Operation Torch. And a VF9 was a US Naval unit established in March of 1942. And then it would be deployed on the USS Ranger later on in 1942 for, as I said, Operation Torch. The uh, unit would be disbanded in September of 1945 at the end of World War II, of course. This particular aircraft here was flown by Lieutenant Commander John Rabby who would be a Navy Cross recipient for his actions during that Operation Torch, which was, of course, the Anglo-American invasion of French Morocco and Algeria against the Vichy French forces in 1942. Do you say that a couple of times really fast? Vichy French forces. Anyway, we will open up this packet, and it's the usual sort of deal, just the name in the flap, and then that aircraft sitting in there. Well, it does look nice, so what we will do is we will stop talking and we will open up this box and check out this Wildcat. Alright, with this Wildcat uh, out of the box, it does come with a set of instructions, so if you need some, have a quick look and uh, there we go. We'll turf those out of the way, we'll get this lid off. And of course, being a Dragon Models, these are no longer produced, so if you like what you see today... Um, you will have to do what I did and hunt around for it on the second-hand market. We will try and get this to come out... Come on, that's it. And uh, obviously in the packet it does have the propeller and uh, the landing gear option for gear down. Of course, we will move uh, this out of the way and get looking at this Wildcat, which does look really nice. Wow. <laughs> this comes up fantastic. Let's check out some of those details a lot closer. Che well, but for those that like rivets, you will definitely like that. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, imagine the guy casting this, sitting there poking every single hole in there. That is crazy. That looks fantastic. The details on this is really nice. I think that canopy might slide back, does it? Yes, it does. Cool. That is another nice uh, option that you do get with uh, Dragon Wings a lot. That looks awesome. You can see a little bit of gauge detail in there. If you look really, really hard, squint your eyes a little bit, you can see it. <laughs> I mean, it is 172nd scale, so these are not huge. But the detail that Dragon do put on these uh, for such small aircraft are really fantastic. The actual rudder moves as well. That looks great. Yeah, definitely another cool little model from Dragon Wings. Jeez, I really wish they were still making models like aircraft models. They do some fantastic aircraft. It's got some great engine detail there. Huh. That looks really nice. Yep. All right, we will flip this over and have a little look underneath and see what we've got. All right, that does look fantastic underneath there too it's got some great detail as you can see check out all those lines beautiful the markings look fantastic and uh, obviously this is uh set up for in flight so uh predominantly all we got to do is chuck a propeller so what we'll do is we'll quickly uh chuck the propeller on this and come back and show you in flight people quickly what this looks like and then uh we'll do the usual after that all right we'll be back in one second all right, we're back, straightforward. <laughs> you just put this propeller on and uh, straight and easy. And then of course, there's a little aerial that you just put on there and that is uh, job done. That is all the assembly you need to do. And this is uh, <laughs> ready to go in flight. And uh, I reckon that's pretty cool. So of course, you just chuck your uh, stand in that stand hole and then you can put your wildcat on the deck here. And that is a job done. And I reckon it is a pretty cool looking uh, Little model, definitely. We'll zoom in a fraction. And uh, yeah, that definitely looks very nice. I don't mind this at all. There is a lot of detail on this, um, especially for those of you that uh, do like those rivets. 
I know there are a couple of you out there that do enjoy a little bit of a rivet action on your models for that extra detail, and this one definitely has that. I reckon it looks fantastic. But uh, of course, this is not how I like to look at my own models. I like to check mine out gear down. So what we'll do is we'll grab this Wildcat, chuck some extended landing gear on this and come right back and have a look at it gear down. And we are back with it gear down. That, that looks absolutely amazing. Check out that. The detail in that undercarriage is absolutely fantastic. This is uh, one of the best ones I have seen um, for, you know, quality and uh, it does have a fantastic finish we did another brand uh wildcat and that uh undercarriage couldn't even hold the weight of the actual model and was absolute garbage this one absolutely freaking brilliant i love it this is really good and it looks fantastic and it's just one piece so you just put this whole one piece in drop it in and that is job done and that does look absolutely well detailed and <laughs> This is, this is a great rendition of a Wildcat for sure. Dragon have done an awesome job, and this one looks great, if I have not said that enough times already. We will put this on the deck, see if this holds its weight. Of course. Easy. Dragon, come on. We will zoom in on this as well. And we will start winding up this video. I reckon this is, this is a really good Wildcat. I like it a lot. It comes up fantastic. It's got great detail. It was relatively inexpensive for me. I grabbed this uh, for $50 off someone selling on an eBay. But of course, that's the only way you can grab these as a secondhand purchase. So you've got to hunt for these if you really want one. And uh, hopefully you can grab yours at a, at a reasonably good price, of course, because these Dragon models are really nice. Even though that some of them can be up to 20 years old, I reckon they do come up fantastic and they hold up well. All right, guys, I will uh, wind this video up. I'll stop blabbering away and uh, I'll take some photos of this awesome little wildcat here. I'll chuck them on at the conclusion of the video. You can uh, check this out without my fingers all over it, of course. And of course... If you like this, give us one of those if you can find that little button. And of course, if you feel like subscribing to the channel, feel free to do that as well. And once again, I want to take the time to thank you very much for checking out another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed the Wildcat today. All right, guys, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, everyone.